Two men are finally home and safe. They were trapped in Levi Cave for 36 hours. Loved ones waited nearly two long nights at the foot of Lookout Mountain. Local 3's Angela Kim was there and has more from one of the rescued men and the people who were there for hours. I'd rather be sitting in jail than going into that cave again. For Robbie Dobos and Gabriel Vaughn, going a bit beyond the guided map for Levi's cave resulted in something both men were not expecting. We had one headlamp for the past day between the two of us. His flashlight fell whenever we were sleeping into the water and went down the stream. Dobos says within a couple of hours, he and Vaughn knew they were lost and kept trying to find a way out, but got further inside the cave and stranded even more. Scared as hell the entire time because we knew we were obviously lost and we're not finding our way out. Dobos's mother, Rhonda Thompson, and Vaughn's mother waited all night on Broad Street. Just fear because they withheld it from me just so that I wouldn't worry. So I didn't know until very late into it. Friends and more family members crowded by the White Oak dry cleaners just hoping. Did you think there would be a good outcome today? No. No, I did not. <laughs> I was scared. Many of the agencies that responded, like the Chattanooga Fire Department and the Hamilton County Cave and Cliff Team, say Dobos and Vaughn were lucky for such a good outcome. This is a cave that no one should have been in, so this really shouldn't have, shouldn't have happened at all. He says paying attention to warnings and signs is important, especially since the area that was blocked off had multiple reasons. A lot of crawling. Um, and there's also um, uh, a lot of places where you can drop down to a lower level. There was multi-levels to this cave, so that really presented a lot of obstacles. Dobos and his mother are both just grateful and finally home after some long nights. I'm going to feed him and get him warm. Definitely and... shower. <laughs> Cuddling with another dude covered in mud is not the most ideal situation, but... You know, it was better than not having them there. <laughs> Reporting by Lookout Mountain, Angela Kim, Hello, Local buddy. 3 News. Hello, I'm glad to see their faces. Warren says Vaughn and Robos, Robos excuse me, could face charges for trespassing. Stay with Local 3 News. We'll keep you up to date.